Hi guys, um, today's video is regarding the Amazon Web Services API. <laughs> this API is not for the faint at heart. <laughs> it is, um, well let me uh, start with uh, the Amazon Web Services. What I'm focusing on is the web Amazon Web Services EC2 or Elastic Computing Cloud. What that is, is effectively a, a virtual machine that you can have access to that you can run services such as an email server, a web server, file server, whether you want to do it privately um, for an organization um, you can or publicly, yeah, sorry, um, then you can um, launch these virtual machines and basically you pay by the hour, which I believe, if I recall, it's uh, eight cents per hour, and they only charge um, for actual running time. What's on my screen right now is I've got three instances that I've created. Two of them are running um, Fedora Linux, and one of them is running Ubuntu Natty's version, the 11.10. 11, 11 um, well, actually, the second one is not running. It's just on the list because I, I made it stop so that I could see information through my, through the API. The API reference itself is found um, at docs.amazonwebservices.com and is a rather large list of uh, um, commands that you would you would enter. And the thing that I've been fighting effectively the, <laughs> this past um, week has been the response structure, or very specifically, the query authentication. Um, there's very specific rules that you must follow to authenticate every query. And it looks like we have finally got it working and therefore I can keep going <laughs> with this project. Um, let me show you just a second. So this is the code that, uh, well, Sean actually uh, helped me put together um, that allows access, basically generates the query with a very specific hashed and encoded signature. And what I have displayed in the trace statement or, or the at console rather is a trace statement of what would be the response on a get console output response. My command that I sent through the API was get console output. That would be right here, this line 53 get console output, I requested for my Ubuntu machine, I wanted to see what the console output was. Now it responds with Base64 encoded information, so you can go to a Base64 decoder, and which I've done here, and you can actually see that the machine, again this is a virtual machine, has responded with its boot sequence that it fully booted into an Ubuntu machine. Um, of course it shows SSH keys and that's everything that you can you can actually SSH into these machines once they're launched. Um, I won't show that here um, but what I'm basically just wanted to summarize <laughs> that this is um, a very interesting API and it's a very interesting future technology that web service servers and web services are going down and a lot of um, information technology departments are looking at Amazon Web Services as alternatives to their current structure where they would co-locate um, actual servers at co-location companies rather than have that overhead and that cost of investment instead you just purchase the servers that you need. You configure them appropriate to, 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 the, to the specs that you need for your services, and you just use what's available, and, and you only pay for what you need. 
So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, definitely give me an email. Um, and look at the docs.amazonwebservices.com if you want to tackle this API. Thanks.